welcome guys welcome to this iss topper session we have with us uh, the topper dr pranav tnc and uh, he is from the state of hyderabad so he is uh, aims rank 1 and common merit list rank 3 so he has the pick of the institutions of the country in which he wants to pursue dm cardiology so welcome dr pranav uh, welcome to the show so uh, i would like you just to give you some give some information about yourself where are you from from which place did you do your mbbs from which place did you do your md yeah, yes sir just uh, introduce yourself yeah thank you sir i am from hyderabad uh, i did my mbbs and md both from jipmer i joined mbbs in the year of 2013 and uh, md i was the july 2019 batch i uh, finished in july of this year so i think it's uh, true for almost everyone so those who have secured a seat usually do so in their first attempt and uh, a bit more in the second attempt so it's you i think the best time to get through is in your first attempt and uh, beyond going in for two attempts i think the yield becomes very low so uh, welcome dr pranav once more so uh, pranav so you have secured the uh, top rank now obviously it is understood that you are going to take dm cardiology because it's not like neat ss so you have picked cardiology as a subject it's not like after you got your exams and then you decide what you want to pick so why did you take choose cardiology you had uh, the a lot of subjects why cardiology uh, yes sir i actually decided uh, towards the end of md initially i was inclining towards nephrology and immunology a bit towards neurology also but uh, the end of md i i really like teaching so i wanted something uh, especially bedside teaching so i wanted something where i could uh, show the students like clinical uh, uh, findings and signs and stuff so the only things which interested me a lot in those areas were either neurology or cardiology for some odd reason i just preferred cardiology as a subject over neurology so and i also feel clinical cardiology is kind of dying everyone wants to do just interventions and stuff like that but uh, so and i was fortunate enough to do md in a college where we were allowed uh, ug teaching so that also piqued my interest in cardiology i guess so i think there is a unique perspective so i have spoken to a lot of topper sessions so the almost the uniform answer which they give as to why they like cardiology is it is the urgency of the subject the interventions you get to do and the uh, immediateness where you can get to save a life yes, so it's yes. almost like a surgical field here yes. are completely gone in the opposite direction i think you have an interest in academia so i think you would uh, probably after you finish your dm you would probably join a medical college somewhere and pursue teaching So I haven't thought I so think, far, sir. But uh, yeah, definitely I keep it in mind. Sir. So I think cardiology is one thing where I, as you said, clinical cardiology right now is a dying art form. So it has its yeah. uses, but uh, it has been overcome li- like by the tsunami of echoes and uh, interventions yeah. and all those things. But again, it's nice. It's nice to teach cardiology. It's nice to teach intervention. It's nice to teach clinical cardiology, especially to MBBS and MD students. Again, yeah. the uh, there's a lot of finesse and a lot of skill which is required to interpret a murmur or to interpret sounds in the context of a patient so anyway it is a it is a genuinely new reason that i find for somebody to take cardiology interesting one so uh, pranav there are two purposes of conducting this uh, marrow uh, this uh, this uh, topper session one of is of course to facilitate facilitate the toppers so we want to congratulate and uh, extend our warm wishes to the toppers the other most important thing is we want uh, the future generations of students to learn from you it's always mm-hmm. easier to follow steps rather than to trailblaze your their own steps so how mm-hmm. did you prepare for this uh, dm cardiology uh, inss yes. exams yes sir so uh, as we know now we need super specialty and dni are altogether different ball games so in ini you have to be much more subject oriented so i uh, started reading cardiology only after the neat was conducted so maybe around the second week of september so my main uh, source of uh, knowledge was the marrow videos i knew i couldn't read like the whole of bronwald in like one and a half to two months and i also uh, felt the exam was much earlier than last year last year it was in december and this time it was conducted in the first week of november so i focus mainly on the marrow videos uh, as we know there are about it takes about 80 hours if you sit and watch through the whole thing but i kind of binge watch them so it took me about 15 to 20 days uh so by the end days. of yes sir uh, this by the end of september i was done watching the videos once 
although maro provides notes i believe it is better to take down your own notes it's always easier from uh, leading from your own notes than something which has already been printed or given to you by someone else so i just took down my notes and then uh, throughout october i just gave some uh, mcq tests which are conducted by maro and uh, also uh, revised my notes and uh, another thing was the brown world mcq book actually helped a lot it's so, really good it's really good yeah it's really good sir it it is tedious doing all the they have like about 700 or 800 mcqs so it's tedious doing the whole thing but uh, definitely i feel it's a must do sir If any cardiology entrance exam you are giving i feel the brown world mcq book is a must do that is not only for you that's how i started my dm preparation the first book i had was the brown world mcq book at that time it was just 500 questions so they have mm-hmm. extended it to 700 right now yes sir i think it's more than 700 right now sir <laughs> so uh, i just wanted to you know so uh, like how was your level of preparation for your md with respect to cardiology so were you well versed with cardiology during your md days uh not so much sir like, i felt to the ini exam it concentrate they give a lot of imaging based questions uh like echoes and i think they had like a couple of H, or two or three chest x ray based questions but uh, i i didn't read too much uh, into cardiology during the md whatever was required for an md graduate i stuck to that uh so in depth i only went after the md exam was over so. So, how was your bro- preparation from Brown World? So, your traditional teaching list before all this uh, app-based teaching came in was you read Brown World cover to cover, and everyone reads Brown World cover to cover, and then go attempt your exams. So, I think all of this has changed right now. So, how was your uh, uh, level of preparation with respect to Brown World? So, did you read Brown World? Did you read selected areas of Brown World? Honestly, I didn't read Brown World at all, sir. So, uh, I. I, i had it in the back of my mind but i knew if i wanted to do as well as i could within a span of 2 months then an app based preparation was much more apt so okay. i just put broad world aside and uh, i focus mainly on uh, the maro videos and maro videos. Uh, so yes, sir, yeah and a bit of harrisons also because uh, as we know around 30 25 questions come from medicine so medicine. i think the, but the so, questions they asked from medicine were uh, pretty basic right yeah they were quite basic yeah. answer them from your uh, practical knowledge mm-hmm. which you had gained in or exactly. you just have to comparisons briefly so, so what i, I have found to... so what i found is usually the specialty questions which they ask that is from the uh, from the corresponding specialties like cardio neuro nephro they are of pretty high standard but the medicine is relatively that if you work well in your wards if you have read something you'll probably get most of those questions right yes. so uh, i just wanted uh, to know that you have you i think you binge watch the entire maro videos are around 82 videos in around 15 days So, how many hours did you spend for a week for every day for seeing those videos? Uh, maybe about six to eight hours. Sir. I watched them at a slightly faster speed, maybe one and a half times the speed. But uh, I think I spent so around eight hours per day. Eight hours per day, and you watched it on one point two x or one point five x? I one point five, sir, most of the time. And That's you were able to understand the concepts at one point five x? Yes, sir. I I would pause from time to time and you. Know, like understand and then take down my notes but uh, the videos i would stream at 1.5 times so you would you were able to prepare notes as well as watch the entire videos in a day maybe 15 to 20 days right yes sir yes sir true. so i think that is very important i think uh, the ease which which maro offers you like you can finish an entire subject in 15 to 20 days including notes preparation and that is simply not possible with a textbook like uh, brown world mm-hmm. so what, what was your mcq level preparation so your basic theory preparation your basic knowledge was from the maro videos yes. and maybe a little bit of harrison as you are a medicine pg yes. so what was the uh, otherwise what was your preparation what was the mcq based preparation like mcq was purely based on the brown world book sir uh, the, i think so there was certain question questions from brown world yeah yeah, yeah. Sir. this like, is something that... which i hi- yeah this is something which i highly recommend i think every super specialty candidate should read that book okay this has been from time immemorial this is this is what my seniors taught me and they said the first book you're supposed to read is this i think the review i'm not sure it's it's a name starting with l i'm not sure his exact name i think that is a must read book for every super specialty aspirant especially the inss field so i think uh, one one important thing i would like uh, to convey to all the his juniors is so i have received messages Uh, after uh, even re asked recently that uh, i have read brown world cover to cover two to three times i have read harrison uh, maybe around two to three times i have seen the maro videos i have seen done all the mcqs i have seen the medicine videos yet i could not secure a seat but 
you look at all the topper videos so consistently i've done a lot of topper videos you can even follow up. hardly the toppers hardly focus on brown world of this please understand that it is not the amount you read it is not that you keep on reading brown world you keep on reading harris and you keep on doing this and that and you get a seat it's not like that it is about focused high yield and smart study it is not about the quantity that you learn it is about the quality that you learn so even if you if you are seeing the marrow videos if you are thorough with the marrow videos i think that would be enough but it is not enough it is not that you go and read everything under the sun available i think it is too much of something is also a bad thing what do you think is it necessary to read brown world before you go for your exams it's definitely not necessary but uh, if you have the time and uh, exactly uh, if you have the time it's a good can, but definitely but, i won't recommend yeah. it to someone who has like to who's prepared only for 2 to 3 months It, uh, but even definitely not but worth. i want to convey this fact that even 2 to 3 months of preparation is enough to yes. secure a seat so uh, i think uh, one of his seniors is dr enosh so he said he also did his mbbs and md from jipa so this is what his message also was he was also he also binge watched all these videos he, he used the word netflix like a netflix uh, series and then he went and wrote the exam and he is now in jipa uh, doing a cardiology so i think uh, uh, i think you were in contact with enosh yes sir i am so how did you come to know about this uh, marrow app and all when did you come to know about it and uh, when uh, did you first start watching it i briefly used marrow for uh, the pg entrance exam sir at the time uh, at the time i think they did not have a separate super specialty exactly that course. was came out in 2021 Yes, sir. So uh, this was uh, this was what seniors had recommended, and uh, they obviously praised you. They said you're a wonderful teacher, which now I completely agree with. And uh, we just follow what our seniors say. So uh, yeah, it was definitely worth it, and uh, I'm very grateful to the matter to you. Exactly. So uh, thank you for those kind words. So Pranav, so uh, how many questions did you attempt in the exam? So we had the medicine session, and you had the cardiology. session as well so how many questions did you attempt in those exams yes sir i attempted all the 80 questions uh, and looking the back questions. at the merit list i felt like most of the other students whoever qualified they attempted at least 75 questions sir exactly. every, uh, so i don't think it's worth leaving too many questions out uh, if, even if you can eliminate a single option it's better to uh, guess exactly. one of the other three the that negative what, marking uh, very heavy sir uh, that's what i one, one by third it's one by three yeah, that Earlier, is what Mm. people get it all... because of the negative marking but uh, it's not like the earlier pgi exam where uh, we used to have like plus 1 and minus 1 for a wrong option this is only minus 1 by 3 so i think you just be brave and you mark as many as you can so that is what all the uh, previous candidates are also said i think you should attempt at least 95% of the questions because yeah. if you think you know around 50 questions you uh, you will only get 40 questions correct there will be at least a twist in some of those questions so even questions you think you might know properly there is a chance you might get it wrong so take it from all the toppers all the toppers who have secured ranks in neat or irss they have almost all, almost attempted always attempted more than 95% of the questions so attempt almost all questions unless it is completely hopeless and uh, the, what i usually say is the landmine questions where you it is you have to completely leave it alone so uh, try to attempt almost all questions if you can eliminate some options good make an educated guess try to attempt questions do not just uh, answer questions which you are absolutely 100% sure on okay mm-hmm. so that's done with the uh, how and how many questions would have approximately got correct so around 80 so how many questions do you think you would I have got, got correct i got 55 right sir i think they put them so 55 right. 55 right yes yeah, sir so if i got 55 right i think you would be somewhere around uh, If you take into consideration negatives, it will be around something like forty-seven oh, so right out yeah, of forty-six point six seven. I think so. That's very important. It's not like he scored something like ninety percent. Okay, if it's forty-six out of forty-six uh, per- percentile or percentage, forty-six uh, marks, sir. Forty-six marks. Forty-six marks out of eighty. So, yeah, so he he scored forty-six marks out of eighty. So that is something around fifty, fifty-two to fifty-three percent, right? so it's yes, around sir. approximately around uh, that range so it is important that you target something somewhere around the range of 55 55 to 60% it is mm. not uh, it is not possible to target something like 70 or 80% in these kind of exams if you see that it is somewhere around 55% of the marks gives you the top uh, rank so i think the my advice to the next uh, batch of candidates is target somewhere in this range if the exam follows this particular standard target 
target this range and you would probably get through so that mm. is with the exams so uh, what about the interview so there were a lot of uh, questions regarding the interview because the interview is a pretty gray area in the olden days we had to go there there was an oski station there was a spotter station then we were grilled by the professors for the lot of questions nowadays it's like everything is online like what we are doing right now so how was the interview uh firstly the interview they they can ask anything sir that's what i felt but one chief area of uh, they that focused on was your md thesis and uh, some questions from statistics which were really basic and those are the sort of things you are expected to know i think that's you, what makes a difference did you attend uh, the uh, you had a mock interview session right did you attend that yes so yes, i think i heard, yeah i told you only two things right focus on your thesis yes. and don't bother about anything else Yes, sir. Right, I think the entire, the entire, yeah, the entire mock interview session, <laughs> the entire mock interview session I had was around twenty minutes, and I just told you the only question which you can possibly guess is the thesis, is your MD thesis, and they might yes, ask sir. you some questions related to it. Other things you yes. cannot predict. They can ask you any question under the sun. But however, yes, I'm not sure. Next time, probably it's because of COVID and all. But probably the next time they may have a departmental interview. So in that case, mm-hmm. things might change. But if yes. this particular format stands, I think there is no particular point in preparing for the interview. So yes. I think that's uh, very important. So um, I think uh, you have you can have the any college you want, right? Either you can have AIMS, JIPMA, PGI, Peripheral AIMS, whatever, Chittara, whatever college you want. So which college yes. would you like to take DM Cardio in, and why? I'm inclining towards PGI, sir. I, it's just been it was a dream for me to go to PGI back in. Uh, mbbs but uh, i unfortunately i didn't get a seat in uh, for the for md uh, i uh, and i want to change sort of because i have done both my mbbs and md from jipmer it's a wonderful place i'd like Jipmer's to go back good. sometime yes sir but uh, i think i'd like to try something new now there's okay pj chandigarh is one of the best departments in the country for uh, doing dm cardiology i think several of your dc uh, of your seniors and dr krishanu dr nikhil everybody would be in uh, pj and they are they were also uh, maro subscribers so i think that is a brilliant choice in fact the place where you study makes a difference once you have yeah. that brand there's a brand name for pj chandigarh you have that brand name you actually carry throughout your life as a very yeah. important and a very it's a very honor it's a, it's a great honor to study from an institution like pj uh, so pranav when do you think uh, you should start focusing on your dm preparation so let's say you prepare for on one to two months so let's yes, say sir. you were a md pg so when would you yes. when should you start focusing on your preparation uh, i feel uh, around a maximum of four months should be sufficient for uh, cracking the dm entrance of course now it varies because uh, neat and uh, ini are all together different ball games but uh, focused focusing on ini purely then i think a maximum of four months it's not worth four reading months. for more than exactly so i think uh, it is possible to study both for a uh, neat as well as iniss but in that case i think you focus better on neat because neat is actually so much connected to md medicine and md medicine is a far more vast syllabus so i think the ideal approach would be to focus on mainly on neat ss and if you have a say a two month gap i think you can you can brush through the videos or you can binge watch the videos like uh, dr pranav did and i think you can even secure a top and a rank and get into a prestigious institution so dr pranav it's been a pleasure talking to you we've learned a lot of new things and i hope yes. uh, your juniors uh, take this advice and uh, they too come up and uh, study in prestigious institutions like yours so pranav thank you mm-hmm. and i hope we'll be in touch so you have welcome to the yes. club of cardiology and i hope that somewhere thank along you. the line we'll be seeing each other in some conference somewhere along somewhere around the course of india So thank you yes, Dr. Sir. Thank you. Thank you sir.